going, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's well, red cool lights blinking. Red lights blink. Oh man, this is not good. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, Big Truck, Big Travels. Well, we're getting ready for a really big travel. But not so much in a big truck, No, we're in a big Class C. Exactly. So we are heading to Alaska. We've kind of mentioned that for weeks now. Yeah. We're actually going to do it. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're, we're not going in the, the gonna, gonna, gonna. We're <laughs> the doing it. We're walking the talk. We first went to Alaska in 2017. Mm -hmm. We took our big rig, mm -hmm. and though it wasn't a Ryan, it was our DRV, yeah. but it was still the truck. Mm -hmm. Had a great time. Uh, Fun time. It was, it was a blast. But we, we went up there with the thought of one and done, mm -hmm. and that we were going to sort of minimize on the mileage. We wanted to see all the cities, mm -hmm. you know, Skagway, Haines, Anchorage, all Fairbanks. All the big hitters. Yeah, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. And did some tours, and we mm -hmm. did some surprise tours as well that we weren't expecting. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was great. But at the end of that, you know, we kind of looked at one another, and we said... <sighs> We fell in love with Alaska. Man. I got to come back. Got to come well, back. Well, yeah. And the thing, though, is so it seemed like throughout the trip, because you did try to minimize the mileage, we just did the big circle. Yep. We were always like two to four weeks off from the animals. And yes. that's what I was really looking forward to with Alaska is, you know, I wanted to see orcas and belugas and well, we saw like a gazillion eagles and oh, bears yeah. and everything else. There's seasons, seasons. for the animals. Yeah, and whether it's feeding or migration, uh, it, it, there is a season yeah. to it. And so what we discovered was we missed like the orcas by what, two weeks? We, we saw bears mm -hmm. down in Hyder, but we were at the very tail very end of the season. Tail end. You know, my vision was I wanted to see salmon, you know, going upstream, going up these big waterfalls. Yep. And, and again, you know, Valdez and all these other places, they go, oh no, that's not happening for another four weeks. Yeah, so. exactly. So in some cases, mm -hmm. you know, we saw the really early swimmers. And in the <laughs> other cases, we saw the really slow late ones, you know? <laughs> yeah. This time we had a different goal. Mm -hmm. This time was, you see mileage? <laughs> Oh, that's so out the window. Throw it out the window. <laughs> yeah. It's cameras and wildlife. Mm -hmm. Last time we probably drove about, what was it, 10,000 miles, 10 I think. 10 to 12. Yeah. yeah. This time, we're probably going to drive closer to 13,000 oh, miles up there. at least. Yeah, and, and we're going to do some routes that, like, two and three times. And we're going to probably back, yeah, we're going to backtrack We are, yeah. we are. And, but it's all because of the animals. Mm -hmm. We are going to cross the border on April 27th, mm -hmm. and we're not going to come back into the lower 48 until September 30th-ish. Ish. <laughs> yeah. Could go a little beyond that. Yeah, but we can't go too much more beyond. That's right. That's right, because of certain requirements. Mm -hmm. In five months, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be about 70 stops. Now, you realize that we average 70 stops a year. So we're going to be doing 70 stops in five months. Yeah. 70 overnight, or yeah. not overnighters, but stops. So, so that means... That's going to totally mess up the numbers That means I'm, I'm going to be twice as good in half the time. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> wow, 70 stops 70 in five stops. Months. And out of those 150-ish nights or so, we're uh -huh. going to do about... Uh, 50 nights uh, on hookups. Yeah, which means 100 nights dry camping. Yeah, yeah. And, um, That'll be fun. That that will be because some of the places that we're going to be going are going to be really, really super cool. Oh, yeah, and, and remote and, and remote. out there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to mean we're looking forward to that. Some um, of the places <clears throat> that we're going to be camping at. Mm-hmm. 
you've had to make reservations. Had to make reservations, and this year was a little different than, mm -hmm. than the first time because there was a couple places that oh, you were I had not to, happy. Oh, I was not a happy <laughs> camper. I had to make reservations, and yeah. last time they were first come, first serve. Yeah, but a lot of the other places, I can't remember how many, what used to be first come, first serve, then because of COVID, now it's RSVP. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know how many of those you found, I can't remember. Yeah, but. Seward was the biggest one. Yeah. Uh, most of the other cities remained mm -hmm. uh, the same, first come, first mm -hmm. serve. There are a few state parks mm -hmm. now that are reservations only. Yeah. Thank goodness, most of the parks in Alaska, whether mm -hmm. they're a recreation site or a state park, or Thank goodness park. they're still first come first yeah, serve. Yeah. So, so just a few places. But it, originally David wasn't planning mm -hmm. on making any reservations. We were just going to go because again. In 2017 mm -hmm. we had a few things scheduled and then we were talking to some local Alaskans. Oh yeah. Yeah and they said oh you gotta go here. Oh mm -hmm. you gotta go there. I mean Alaskans so are the we, nicest people. They are. They're amazing. And they were telling us some places we're like ooh. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. So we adjusted things and we, we uh, canceled a few yeah. reservations. We pushed a few out. And so this time we said we, we don't want to make you know as many as what yeah. we did last yeah. time. You want to make sure you maximize on your experiences. And sometimes you just don't know. I mean, some things may be weather related. You have yep. to be able to change. Exactly. But with that, some of the things you, you had to make some reservations like 18 months in advance on a few things and then well, reservations for tours just because the yep. seating was limited. Yep, just to make sure mm -hmm. uh, on some of those. So there was about seven tours that I booked. And I'm so excited. A few of those I had to because we're getting a discount. That's right. Yeah. I'll save a little money and, and that way. Time. Yeah. <laughs> because we're not going to be saving a lot on this trip. Yeah. So you've, we've got the trip. We know we want to go to Alaska, but what does it take to actually make it happen? Oh, that's easy. Oh. <laughs> Travel planner Travel here. Travel planner here. I just say, I want to see animals, and I've got my tracker of what animals I want to see. And, and I want to go to Alaska. And I want to go to Alaska. Make you, it happen. You make it, ha make it happen. You yeah. figure it out. So what do you, how do you plan for that? Yeah, so uh, there's a couple of things from the last time, and really I'm using uh, some of the same stuff this time. And our knowledge from the trip from last time. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. important. That uh, sort of geared us towards where we wanted to go, yeah. what our schedule wanted to be, our, our mm -hmm. schedule. Uh, so I, I really kind of started off with, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the basic migration patterns of all the animals <laughs> and I sort of worked into it from there backwards. The biggest thing is, man, <laughs> the milepost book. And that is an absolute must. It is. It is. It's got... Uh, oh, there's your uh, glass oh. case. <laughs> you <laughs> I've been looking for this thing. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, sorry, guys. <laughs> but I've been looking for this for like thing. like two days now, and he never loses anything. Not I even never socks. Do. It was in the all-powerful milepost book. <laughs> so if you guys get one, you may not have any glass cases in there, but that's okay. It still works. But, but this is great. It's got uh, maps. It's got uh, points uh, of interest. three different types of trips you can take on a mm -hmm. western, eastern, or a central mm -hmm. route. Uh, it's got... Uh, literally stop by stop of yeah, almost mile by mile the whole of what you can expect yeah uh, mm -hmm. and a lot of the major cities and, and the, even through canada yeah so yep and then a lot of the different roads and mm -hmm. such and highways because some of those you know are not paved mm -hmm. and uh, some of them are a little rough oh yeah you know, i think we're going there and you got to get one of these and i uh, sort of live by yes, this yes you have to get one when are you going to get it yeah really so <laughs> if you'll notice if you guys zoom in a little bit this says 2020. yeah oh man we're doing alaska mm. like it's 2020. oh I mean, no not through COVID. Not, at least it's not 1999. Oh, man that was a fiasco. It really was. It so I still I, was. I got is. this book. Uh, really, I got this book uh, a year or so ago, a yeah. year and a half ago, because mm -hmm. I was going to do some preliminary planning because we knew we were going mm -hmm. to Alaska, and we just weren't. We thought we knew what year, and then yeah, things happened, and we'll get into thing. that. Yeah. But uh, so I had this, and then March rolls around, and and the milepost says, yeah, we're going to have the new. 2023 out in March. I'm like, oh yeah. So I get on Amazon 
and I order it, and they say, it's going to be there April uh -huh. 1st. Well. Didn't happen. April 1st was an April Fool's yeah. Day on me. Then they came back and they said, oh, it'll be April 15th. Mm -hmm. And then like a week later, oh, it's going to be now May 1st. We're like, you've got to be kidding me. Because yeah. May 1st, we're in Canada. <laughs> I mean, no, we're going to be there before May 1st. We're in Canada. We're like, we're yeah. rolling up mm -hmm. north. And then I got another note uh, from Amazon mm -hmm. just a couple of days ago. And it yeah. says, oh, now it's going to be April 15th again. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. And I said, okay, I'll hold off. April 15th rolls around. Oh. It was like April. I get another notification. Yeah. Gee, it's going to now be this coming Monday. Well, and I, we're done. We're done. I could just see it on Monday saying, oh, it's going to be Tuesday. Tuesday. Then Wednesday. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. And we, we left Monday morning. So. Yep. So I canceled and they were really good about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to use the 2020. I don't think much has changed. Yeah. And typically it doesn't. I mean, yeah. the road is still there. They're, they're guidelines. Yeah. The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. I mean, the road's still there. So we'll, we'll find it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, another good one uh, that I use is the uh, is a camping book. Now this one <laughs> is no longer in uh, print. No, th I just this found is from that the 2017 out. 2017 trip, right? Well, actually, this is from the 2017 trip. Yeah, you just uh, didn't throw it away. But I just didn't throw We've it away. We've been carrying that around all this time. You know, yeah, this is a well-traveled book. <laughs> yeah. I use this because it's got a lot of all the campgrounds uh, up mm -hmm. in Alaska, and it's good to have it in print because there'll be some areas where no cell service. Yeah, a lot of places no yeah. cell service. And this helps me to kind of pre-plan and which ones are first come, mm -hmm. first serve, and and where you can dry camp and and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. um, Get and even though, yeah, even though this one's not in print anymore, there's other books out there mm -hmm. that quite, will do few, something like similar. Three, something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. And then the other thing that we got um, from last time is the Alaska uh, Tour Saver book mm -hmm. on an app now. It used to be a book. Yeah. And uh, it's like a coupon book. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And you uh, open it up to whatever tour you want, and they have mm -hmm. about, oh, I don't know, 50 of them. Oh, at least that. Yeah. yeah. And it costs, uh, I think it was $119 mm -hmm. this year. But, I mean, on our first tour, we saved like $80. And we're going to be booking oh, for seven this year. of yeah, them for this say, time. In 2017, I think we saved, uh, it was about $2,100 because everything's either half price or, well, buy one, get one free. That's half price. But, yeah. Um, yeah, we saved a ton of money. It was very, I think we did one tour and it paid for itself. Oh yeah, I mean, we saved a bunch. Yeah, and what's really cool about it is you can say, okay, what's there to do in, I don't know, Sitka, mm -hmm. let's say, and you just go to the Tour Saver book and you can kind of see some stuff. So it mm -hmm. uh, gives you some ideas mm -hmm. and it's not all encompassing. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of things that aren't in there, but it gets you started. Yeah. And it's really cool. And the things that are, the tours that are and activities that are mm -hmm. in there are really cool. They are. Yeah. So yeah. we like doing them anyhow and mm -hmm. we get to save money as well. But some of those require advanced reservations. Mm -hmm. So. Because you actually made one the other day and they said that the, the 8 a.m. one was sold out. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> she didn't want to get out. Um, but yeah, so they did say that the eight o'clock tour saver tour was was sold out. Yeah. So in that case, we did. You, you know, so it's good that you started making your reservations early on. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. On the trip, uh, the initial plan, getting up to Alaska, and the reason why I've got a 2020 <laughs> book is that we really thought that we were going to be going in uh, 21. 21. And then we all know what happened, COVID, COVID. and everything shut down. Mm -hmm. In 21, we got cold feet. We said, we you, did, know, you know, we don't think everything's going to be open. Yeah. We do a, like a five to seven year forecast or travel mm -hmm. plan and I've got it on Excel and we do everything in tours and blocks. Mm -hmm. So as we're driving down the road, let's say, and we're just, you know, talking about, oh man, it'd be nice to see this big ball of yarn and wherever. What we do is um, we'll just update that sheet. So every year there's like seven or eight or five tours every year mm -hmm. based on the time of year. 
And so we'll just like take one and move it over. And I mean, this thing's, all, it's its a living oh, document. It's it is constantly fluid. Very fluid, but that's why I keep it on Excel, just so we can move it back and forth. Exactly. And man, oh man, we were moving it back and forth. But so anyhow, yeah. getting back to my point was Washington. Yep. We wanted to go to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And the Smithsonian's were all closed. And yep. it's like, you know, if they're going to be closed, why go? There's no you know, sense. We want, we want to go when everything is open and everything is normal. The full experience. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, so we looked at uh, Alaska and we said, you know, it, I don't yeah, think so. We're just not, not quite ready. comfortable with it yet. Mm -mm. So we said, well, maybe in 22. 22. And I said, well, the book should still be good, no problem. Yeah. So I kept it mm -hmm. and was doing some preliminary plans. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, 22 uh, comes yeah. and, and, you Things know. Things are still not opening up even in the lower 48. Yeah, and we yeah. just weren't comfortable in Alaska that people were going to go up there. Plus, mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, gas prices started to increase. Yes, a lot. And so we thought, okay, yeah. let's do some other things here in the lower 48. Mm -hmm. And which we had a great time. We're glad we did. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then we thought, okay, 23. 23. Here you we know? go. And there was a few things that we had to sort of uh, try to make reservations for about 18 months in mm -hmm. advance. Mm -hmm. And so I did that and thinking it was going to be 23. Well, then, you know, Canada lingers with the border restrictions yes and they weren't open in 23 and we're thinking well they had they 22 right and then they were open in 23 but they had a lot of restrictions well this is 23 we're in 23 now Are we really yeah so 22 <laughs> is they had they sort of open but they had restrictions That's on right, them yeah. Yeah. yeah and obviously we couldn't meet some of those restrictions mm -hmm. and because we just weren't going to do that so we said okay if you know, we're just going to do something else in 23. Mm -hmm. I guess, I think we were, actually at that point, we're thinking. Oh, yeah, another trip. Another trip. Yeah. Uh, a little south of here. And uh, so then we're going along and we're doing our trips, traveling for 22. And lo and behold, <laughs> I see on ESPN. ESPN, they go, oh, we hear rumors that Canada might like fully open the borders non-restrictions in october of 22 and we yeah, thought but man that's oh. cutting it close because with some of the things that we were going to do in january february you did need to make some reservations and oh yeah that was going to be tight we were just like living day by day on that one yeah really tight mm -hmm. and then october i can't remember what it was october 10th or the 16th yeah. came came around and canada goes here we go. We're open. We're open. It's like, okay, let's go. You don't go. need shots. You don't need paperwork. We're going to let U.S. citizens come on in. Mm -hmm. So we're like, yes. And then... Like a week later. A week later or so, I get an email. We were waitlisted on this one reservation yeah. that you have to make 18 months in advance. And we were like number... I don't know, 5,000. Oh, yeah, we were way up there. There was no way we were going to get in there. Yeah, no so we were way. we were sort of still debating on Alaska, even though Canada was now open for 23. That sealed it for yeah. us. Yeah, and then we get the email, yeah. and I'm like, like yeah! oh, yeah! So excited! So we're like, yes, we're going. <sighs> Mm -hmm. So that kind of, I won't say guaranteed that an animal signing, but it, it sealed the deal going to Alaska. Yeah, it's like so, we won the lottery. Yeah, it was like fate. We're like, okay. Okay, let's, hey. Our name's drawn. We're, we're going. going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I pull out my <laughs> it's 20 book and I said, you know, I'm going to make it work mm -hmm. and then ordered it. And obviously then you guys know the rest, the rest of, of the that story. sad story. Yeah. Why are we in the class C? Yeah, yeah, we get we're getting a lot of questions yeah, yeah. about And we do appreciate everybody's comments. Oh, though. we love them. We we love them. We love them. Thank you. Keep them coming. Yeah. Uh but we we the big question <laughs> is you guys got a beautiful house. Yeah. And a really nice truck that's that's heavy duty. Very capable. You know, why not take Orion mm -hmm. and your big rig? Why not take that up to mm -hmm. Alaska? We are. <laughs> but just not this trip. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. We've got a total of four trips. The one we took, this one, two more trips after yeah. this that we want to go to Alaska. But over the course of the next, yeah, I don't know, yeah, 
Who knows? How many years? Five, six, seven. Who, yeah. oh, we don't know. We don't know. But we are going to take it, mm -hmm. but just not this time. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, we got this uh, Class C mm -hmm. to let us sort of dig a little deeper into wherever we're going. Yeah. Because there are some places that legally and physically we can't fit mm -hmm. or get to mm -hmm. in our big rig, right. in Orion right. and Voyager. And, but we knew that when we got it we did. You know, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. This will allow us to get a little bit closer to the action, so to speak, Yeah. and get to places that we can't get to with mm -hmm. our, our big setup. Right. Plus, it'll let us scout out mm -hmm. some of those areas. As a matter of fact, I've got a tracker in my journal. So of every single place <laughs> that we stay, <laughs> um, I'm going to put a check mark where, where is this a place that Orion can fit? Yep. So when we take, so our next trip to Alaska will mm -hmm. be in Orion and Voyager, but we're just going to start taking notes because sometimes it's better seeing as believing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can read reviews and you can see what other people's opinions are. But because we're kind of big, we, this is one of those we just yeah. feel better if we scouted it out ourselves. And it's not only can we fit mm -hmm. in a site or in an area, but can we get to it? Yeah. You know, yeah. and these roads, uh, there's only about six or seven roads in Alaska, mm -hmm. believe it or not, uh, main roads. Mm -hmm. And probably about half of those are, are gravel or a portion of them are gravel. Yeah. And even though they're well maintained, mm -hmm. still, you know, we're a big setup, so we want to make sure. And you guys uh, know we're experts at getting stuck oh, and yeah. unstuck. And unstuck, too. Yes. So, and, Orion, and Curiosity, excuse me, uh, has four wheel four drive. drive. That was a requirement. That was, was one of the number one requirements when we got Curiosity. Yep. It, it had to have four wheel drive, it had, had to, to be able to climb the mountains, it had to be able to have the engine braking going down because we're going to yep. be going up and down a lot of elevation. Yeah, so the F550 gives us plenty of power, mm -hmm. capabilities, mm -hmm. four wheel drive is great. Uh, yes. there, it's roomy in here in the Class C, Very. Uh, which is really nice. But our other requirement was 32 feet. It in had length. to be short, and actually, Curiosity yep. is the same size as Voyager. <laughs> I, I just, <laughs> you know, I look around and I don't see how that's possible. This place is huge, but I guess Man. you know, with the bed and everything. I mean, so. that's kind of ridiculous when you say that out loud. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so does that mean this is smaller? Voyager is big. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we know where we're going. Mm -hmm. We know how we're going to get there. Why we're going. Why we're going. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and all the particulars of once we get up there mm -hmm. and such. Uh, but <laughs> to get to Alaska, if you're going to drive, There's two, yep. two ways. Two driving, ways to do it. Driving very... up the Alcan, which is what we prefer. We mm -hmm. actually really enjoy the Love drive. It, or the ferry. Yeah. Yeah. And the ferry, you're really you're driving on the ferry, and then you're really not driving again until you get in Alaska. Yeah, yeah. But we really enjoy the Alcan because mm -hmm. that's part of the trip yeah, for us. Yeah, Canada's beautiful. I mean, they're provincial parks oh, and just yeah. the sceneries. There's I some love really cool Canada. ones it's that gorgeous. we can't wait to go to. Right. Yeah, and free firewood in some of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in 2017, mm -hmm. uh, we. Looked up the border restrictions. Yeah, and it's that, always a good Canada time. Has. Anytime you go into any oh, foreign yeah. country, you know, it's it's good to go on onto their website and look at you know what the restrictions are, which you can and can't take mm -hmm. and and bring in. And it seems like I, I love what looking at the little quirks of of each country and what 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 they allow and don't allow. And yeah, what's the hot button the for hot that button. year? Yeah. So in 2017, the hot button. It was all about citrus. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know what was going on. I can't remember what was going on in 2017. Man. But every, I mean, and we the way you plan the trip, we were literally crossing the Canadian oh. Alaskan border, especially in the southeast. It ended up being 12 times. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was funny because every time we got questioned, do you have citrus? You know, do you have oranges? Every do you have time. lemons? Do you have limes? And we said, no, no citrus. Not even canned citrus. Yep. That, that was a funny thing. And then also they said, um, no bear spray. He's yeah. like, well, what do you use for protection? I'm like, hello, I've got my camera. <laughs> you know, as long when, as I have the camera, they're yeah, not going to show up. That's right. 
So, um, so this year you went online to see yeah. what the restrictions were. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, now, bear spray is okay yeah. as long as it's labeled yeah. um, as bear spray. Mm -hmm. uh, now, pepper spray, mace, oh. forget it. Mm -mm. No way. Mm -mm. But bear spray labeled as bear spray, yeah. you're good. Mm -hmm. And then the other hot button oh for Canada... Gosh. And and they're not kidding. Is uh, is poultry? Poultry eggs. Eggs especially. Oh, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Eggs. By, by the way, we've got eleven eggs we need to eat between <laughs> in the next ten days. You've been eating a lot of yeah of deviled eggs and well, and well, you, egg I salad. Make eggs? Are you gonna let me make them? Make sure. Them? You go right ahead. Oh, thank you. I can't eat that many eggs. Well, he doesn't like eggs, the smell of eggs. Aren't eggs aren't my favorite. Yeah, it's not, that's not his thing. No. no. Cake. Whataburger is my favorite. Yes, anyway. Whataburger. <laughs> so anyhow, no poultry products and uh -uh. no eggs. That's, that's a big, big yep. hot button this yep. year, it seems like. Yeah, so, so what else do you need? Passport. Passport. And you're and getting close on yeah, yours. Yeah, so thank goodness. So we were looking at all that stuff, I th again, back in October, and David pulled the passports out of the safe, and we we're looking at the expiration dates because I'm trying to think when was the last time I got my passport mm -hmm. updated? Because you'd gotten yours updated a couple years ago, I, I think. I did. Yep. Um, so mine expires this fall, so I know what I'm going to be doing. No, it's next. Next fall. Next fall. Yeah. So as soon as we get back, I'm going to go ahead and start that process. But yeah. make sure you check your expiration date on your check. Oh passports. yeah, because they yeah. will not let you in. No. No. <laughs> so we're going to cross on April 27th. Now, there are some people out there on some of these groups. Oh, not some. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. They're this not is, reading the fine print. Yeah, but this one. You can't leave. This you little can't. planner master here, he found a way. He always finds a way and weasels his way into things. I don't know how he does oh, it. Oh, yeah. All throughout Canada. Mm-hmm. It's, it's May 1st restricted for well, M&S mud and snow tires. Yeah, so it's October 1st through May 1st. Exactly. There's that restriction. So to cross into Canada, you have to have those special tires. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you need to. And if they check you and you or don't chains, have them, maybe? then you could have a, a fine what? or change, yeah. have chains and mm -hmm. such. Um, but, 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 there is a valley in the <laughs> mid part. Okay, going through BC mm -hmm. and the Okanagan Valley, it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. supposed to be a, a huge Agri agricultural mm -hmm. hotbed, wine and stuff like that. And their restrictions are lifted because mm -hmm. they're in a valley, so they don't get the same kind of weather. Mm -hmm. Their restrictions are lifted, uh, it's, it's October 1st to March 31st, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why we're crossing April 27th, and we're going to go up these roads. And I've got a little uh, map uh, here. We're going to go up those roads, and they're in the orange. By the time we get to April 30th... We will be right at the next road. Yes. So the next day we'll cross over and, again, be legal exactly. with the right and kind we'll be of completely tires. legal. So yeah. we'll kind of take our time, those three days, three yep. or four days, getting to the the um, May 1st restricted uh, roads. Exactly. And then exactly. we're just going to But that maximizes up. our time getting up to Alaska yeah. so we can enjoy the Alcan, mm -hmm. but also get up there early enough mm -hmm. because our first animal tour and hopeful sighting is going to be orcas. Yeah, she's been watching a lot of videos on orcas. Oh my gosh, orcas. that's all I've been doing. I, I, I think I've got a marine biology <laughs> degree in orcas now, so we better see some. Mr. Yes, Planner. yeah. So, so that's why we're crossing uh -huh. through um, Oroville or Osoyos uh -huh. uh, into BC on April 27th. Yeah. So it was kind of a funny. Head start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a lot of people that were like, mm -hmm. "Oh, you can't do that." You know, it's like, okay, we we think we got this. We got this. Yeah, yeah. But since we're in the class C. Uh -huh. And not taking our home. Yeah. Packing for this trip. That was tough. Was strange. I, I didn't enjoy that. So, you know, we, I mean, we both traveled in our careers and, you know, hotels aren't our thing. Um, so that's why we full time because yep. we want to travel and we want to sleep in our bed every night. And so. Which is great. Which is great. And we're in curiosity. It's going to be our home. But I think it was really hard for me just packing because 
when we went up in 2017, mm -hmm. we had our home with us. I mean, yeah, we didn't no have matter, to think about what yeah, to bring. Yeah, we didn't have to pack for clothes. We didn't have to pack for supplies. We didn't have to nope. pack for food. Nothing. We were just like, okay, let's go. All right, let's yeah, go. We jumped in the truck, and because we were taking the big truck, yeah, we didn't really have to worry about fuel. No. I mean, you know, 15, 1800 miles on a tank. And yeah. man, we're just more worried about porta potties, yeah. you know, I mean, and pit stops. But yeah, so that, that, I think this has been the most awkward thing for me as far as, you know, what clothes to mm -hmm. pack, um, what supplies, you know, toilet paper, because I keep like six months of everything in Orion at all times. I yeah. mean, heck, when COVID hit, I still, I didn't need to go to the store for months. Oh, I yeah. Mean, yeah. I just, She's always well stocked. Yeah. I mean, I generally have what, three months worth of food in the refrigerator and freezer. Oh, easily. So. Yeah, and in the pantry and... <laughs> Underneath the couch. Toilet paper. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, that's going a little bit TMI, yeah, TMI there. TMI. But yeah, so it was, it, this was hard for me. Yeah. And, yeah, because, um, you know, how many, you know, do you take five turtlenecks or do you take six turtlenecks? I'm taking them all. <laughs> I, I just, I'm going to regret it. Probably the hottest summer on record. But oh, I probably. think I'm taking five t-shirts and all long yeah, sleeves and, and like sweats. one pair of shorts and yeah. then the rest is like cold weather stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the other thing that was really hard, and if you all saw in the pre one of our previous videos was the whole food prep. I am a prepper. <laughs> um, you know, if, if I go out for a two hour run on errands, I have two days worth of food in my purse. Easy. I, I don't know Easy. why, but I just We could be do. stranded on a desert island from a plane crash. <laughs> she could only have her purse I, we'd survive for like a month. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was never in the Girl Spouts of Scouts, but I probably should have been. <laughs> yeah, so. Crazy. Yes, we do know there are stores in Alaska. Yeah, we've had and a lot of comments yes, on that, too. Yes, yes. And so we, we do like to eat out on occasion as an experience and not as a convenience. Yeah, like Whataburger. Um, oh, please, that's not an experience. <laughs> that's convenience. That's a good experience. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah so and we know that there are stores in Alaska mm. and you get to the really big cities you know like Anchorage Fairbanks even you know Wasilla and stuff I mean they they have the Walmarts mm -hmm. and which is great and we know that um, but the problem is we're not going to be spending like any time in any of those big cities it's going to be yeah. the smaller second tier cities yeah. towns or villages or roads or yeah and, that are pretty remote and so i think because of our experience um what was it at kenny lake yeah and they had a grocery store going towards and kennecott so we we were we we're with three other couples <laughs> and one of the couples as soon the day we got there they said okay i need to go to the store so they went to the store they came back and we said so how was it and they go oh, oh. I said, there's nothing in there. Well, it's like, oh, wow, we got to go check this out. So yeah. we did some things. We did some stuff around town. And then yeah. the next day or the day after, yep. uh, we went into the store. And it was fully stocked. It's like, man, this is great. It's packed. And it's like, well, what are you guys talking about? This thing was stocked. Well, we talked to the storekeeper. Yeah. And they only get shipments. The store, the this truck only comes in. It was like every Thursday. Yeah, once a week. Once a week. Well, you know. If oh, you hit it on Thursday. You're golden. You're great. But if you get there on Wednesday and that's your only day to go shopping, you know, it could be really limited. Oh, the shelves might be barren. Yeah. And yeah. so that, that kind of struck a chord with me. So I wasn't real happy with that. So yeah. um, Plus, we're going to be in some areas that we're not going to have access to a yeah, lot of stores. Yeah, like, we're going to be like stuck. Like in, in Denali, Yeah, we're, we're going to go to Tech. Yep. Teklanika campground. And so let's say if for a we, week. Yeah, if we need, um, I don't know, a, some gallon of milk, for mm -hmm. example. Um, so with tech, we're gonna have to take leave the jeep in the parking lot, and yep. then we're out gonna bring front. yeah out front, and then we're gonna have to drive the what forty miles or something well, in twenty nine miles. It's twenty, you know, the nine miles plus yep. the twenty miles in, and we're stuck there. If you leave, if we leave with the camper. That's it. You lose your reservation. Yeah, yeah. They don't so, allow you because they want to minimize traffic on that road into yeah, Denali yeah. Park. So, um, so we're gonna go seven days with not having access to any food. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, I don't and need thus it. Thus, all the boxes that <laughs> yeah. I loaded. Exactly. Um, so it, but, but it's not just tech though. It's not just tech, right? We're gonna it, go up the Dalton Highway. Yeah, yeah we're and gonna there's go up, what what two stops in Dalton? There's like two cities. 
You okay? Yeah. <laughs> On this Two almost 450 mile road, right? Um, and it's a oil mm -hmm. uh, services kind mm -hmm. of an area because that's yeah. where you know Prudhoe Bay. That's where all the oil is for Alaska. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to be in some remote areas that yeah. you were kind of freaking out. I, I was. And, and, you know, I love to cook and I like, you know, and, and again, we have our basic meals and some of the things that I make don't have, you know, your normal basic five ingredients kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, we like certain things too. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, and then the other reason, so not, not to be cheap. So in, <laughs> I'm not cheap. Which she no, is. I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. Frugal. Okay. I'm, I'm frugal. Penny I'm pincher. Pe yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sort of. I, I, I guess I am. But anyhow, um, so in 2017, again, this I kind of got scarred on this one. So in 2017, um, I had budget. I assumed you have to make assumptions sometimes that food prices would be about 30% higher. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the big box stores, you know, like Walmart or, you know, Valdez has Safeway, um, the prices are the same as the lower 48, which is great. But it's when you go to those independent grocery stores, the IGAs, mm -hmm. then you pay a lot more money. And, and very much so, because they generally have to go two or 300 miles. They take a truck, pick up the, you know, their stuff in Anchorage yep. or Fairbanks, and then bring it back to that small town. So a three dollar and fifty cent box of cereal is mm -hmm. now five six dollars. Yes, easy. And that really hit home with me. I yeah. mean that that was a shocker. I mean just basic foods were so incredibly expensive, mm -hmm. and I just I had a fundamental issue as <laughs> paying those prices. Mm -hmm. So um, but plus we the did. selection sometimes. Yeah, you the know? selection is limited. Um, but you know, and you're, you see Kirkland Brand everywhere, and these IGAs, you wonder where they got their product from Gee. so um and then the other thing that was that scarred me for life was uh so you can't get fountain drinks anywhere this hit home for this her. hit home for me um so i'm a fountain drink lo lover um addict and um and yeah i know it's bad for me but i eat healthy with everything else but you can't get fountain drinks pretty much anywhere along the alcan and only in Fairbanks and Anchorage. Yeah, and nowhere in Canada. No, like nowhere. We even went to, I think it was a pilot truck stop, and it's like, yeah! And I yeah. went in, they go, yeah, we don't have fountain drinks. Yeah, we removed the fountain machine last yeah, year. Yeah, because the syrups kept Did, expiring. Yeah, they didn't, didn't use them. get any it's use. cost prohibitive. <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, I guess I can do without a fountain drink. I'll go get, you know, get a 12 pack of, of sodas. And I'm used at the time in 2017. I was used to paying oh, yeah. uh, three packs for ten dollars. So yep. that's what three thirty-three or whatever mm -hmm. a pack. In Alaska, you can plan on paying again. That was back in 2017. It was like eight to ten dollars for a twelve pack of soda. For one pack. For yeah. one pack, yeah. not for three but for one. one and it's like you know it's like i love soda but not for that price <laughs> i mean so i went an entire summer oh. without drinking any sodas unless she was we, irritable some I days was, i was cranky well it was cold too <laughs> i'm prepared for both now i've got my soda and i've got my parka my my summer parka yeah um but and everybody oh y'all are so sweet because everyone's wondering what about david and his whataburgers oh yeah because well, i'm not gonna have any near me no but he's not all. gonna be totally without no no we're she's bringing the special sauce there are certain brands that we like and the other mm -hmm. thing that we learned is oh by the way the canadian superstores are absolutely awesome oh I yeah love the canadian they superstores. are fantastic um, so, and there are some certain products, the presidential brand that, um, when we come down, so all those five boxes you saw, um, they're going to be empty of the food, but I'm going to refill those suckers with some of the other special foods that I love getting from the Canadian superstore. Oh, yeah. So we'll, we might do a, a Canadian superstore shop hall or whatever they're called. Yeah. Shop hall. Food hall. Food hall. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. We'll, we'll do that for yeah, you. Kind of it's a cool through. store. So when you're in Canada, don't waste your time going to Walmarts. They're absolutely horrible. Go to this Canadian superstores. Oh, yeah. They are amazing. And the other cool thing, too, is returning your carts. It needs a loonie. Or a toonie. 
No, it's a, I think a it's a loony, so it's just which like is a one dollar yeah. Canadian coin. So they, they call do, it a loony. It's cool. Yeah, but it's really neat. That's uh, to help get the carts back mm -hmm. into the uh, yeah, um, just like Aldi does. islands and stuff, mm -hmm. just like Aldi. So it's really neat. We really like it. Yeah, um, but be aware that and, and again, we just kind of got scratched on this one. Um, uh, so there are some comfort foods that we like, and one of them is the Campbell's tomato soup. Yeah, we really and like that. And we were coming back down from Alaska. We stopped at the Canadian Superstore, and I think at the time they were like 75 cents or a dollar a can, yeah. and they had them on sale for, I think it was a dollar a can, they had them on sale for 50 cents. It was like half price. Or, or 25 cents. Yeah. It was a ridiculously it was low price. It was amazing price, price. Oh, yeah. and I checked the expiration dates, and they were like brand new cans. Yeah. So it's like, oh, this is awesome. We got a case. We got a, you know, we got a case of them, and so we popped open a can. We made the soup with, with whole milk, by the way, and it just tasted off. off. Wasn't sure why. Um, then we thought, well, that was weird. So then yeah, we had another we had a one, bad can. and then I, I used some of the soups for a couple of the recipes that I yep. made, and it just didn't taste right. And it then, was different. So then I had gotten another can down in the United States, um, and, and um, we tried it, and it tasted normal. Mm -hmm. And then we compared the labels, and the ingredients were slightly off. Yeah. So, so Campbell's in Canada made their tomato soup a little differently for, for the local Canadian taste. Market. Yeah, right. exactly, so, which is perfectly reasonable, but not what we're used to. Right, and we didn't like it all that much. Yeah, so we took them to a, a food oh, bank. Oh, a food shelter, yeah. The but bank. Uh, that's another reason why we've packed all these boxes yeah. with some of these items that we know we like and that we're not sure that we can get. Yeah. So. That's why. So that's the basics mm -hmm. uh, for us of planning in, in Alaska and what we did to plan for this trip, our mm -hmm. second trip up to Alaska. There are some other things that are more based on, I'll say individual preferences, yeah. likes, yeah. dislikes, uh, hobbies, or, or whatever mm -hmm. have you, uh, that you may wanna also look at. And, and a few things that we did differently this time mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so. We're taking our bikes up. We did last our time. Our e-bikes. But this time we have e-bikes. Yeah. Yeah. And this will extend the range for us. Uh, we uh -huh. enjoyed the bikes last time, but uh, there's a few hills and such. And uh, so e-bikes will make it a lot more enjoyable, enjoyable to get to some of those places and to get back yeah. <laughs> to the to camper, back. you know. <laughs> um, so... Because of that, though, the road getting up there and the yeah. road within Alaska, some of these roads, they are gravel. They Mud, use this this this, uh, this dust. Uh, I, don't know, um, I call it cement. Yeah, cement and dust. It, it helps to lower the dust when it doesn't rain. But Pack when it does roads. rain, it creates like concrete. Yeah, it's just nasty oh, yeah. stuff. And we don't have it. So in Voyager, we put the bikes in in the draw box in Voyager. Yeah. But here, we didn't know where we were going to put the bikes. And we wanted to bring bikes, so you made. Some I made some custom covers. covers. Yeah. So I took you oh, had really cool. You had two singles and a double, and then temporarily you have the double cover but it wasn't mm -hmm. sealed and I didn't feel right about bringing the bikes unless I yeah. knew they were like hermetically sealed because yeah, dust and stuff gets yeah. everywhere so I Frankensteined a couple of um, well all three of those yeah covers. But they look great they're yeah. form-fitting very svelte yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that's different for us this time is that we're in a motorhome a class C yeah. motorhome uh, last time, our smart was up mm -hmm. on the truck, so we didn't have to worry about rocks and things of that nature. Yeah, getting dirty. But this time, the Jeep is towing behind yeah. Curiosity. So we did a couple things. We got some rock guards mm -hmm. uh, by the tires, mm -hmm. modified well, you those. the, the mud flaps. Yep. Is that what that rock yep. guard is? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Extended that. And you got a hammock. And then got the hammock, uh, the protected tow. We uh -huh. got that. Uh, that uh, hopefully will protect the Jeep. We'll find out. So mm -hmm. we got two things that mm -hmm. we did because that was different for us yeah. uh, than the last time. We have Starlink. Mm -hmm. We've had it for about a year mm -hmm. and it's worked really well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping it continues to work well in Alaska. Yeah, but so that's going to be our yeah. mode of communication when we can't yeah. get cell service. And we don't watch a lot of TV, but if we, if we do want to stream some things, then we know we could do that with mm -hmm. Starlink because... 
Uh, last time we took the um, the dish satellite dish thing, <laughs> yeah, didn't work. So you just went ahead. You heard about that and just went ahead and canceled the service. I, I did. I suspended uh, service because yeah. the satellites are so low on the horizon when you're up yeah. in Alaska that your dish almost goes yeah. points through it's, the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah you go to some weird. of the houses and the dishes are pointing into the ground. That is that, true. That is just wild. Yeah, it's to crazy. See that. We're asking them like, what are you doing? These things are pointing down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're we're gonna try Starlink out and see how that works. Yeah. So another unique thing, depending yeah. on where you go, in the lower 48, you really don't have to worry about fuel. Yeah. In Alaska, there's some places where you'll go hundreds and hundreds of miles mm -hmm. and there is no anything. stations. Nothing. Yeah. Like nothing. And because we're going up early and coming back a little later, mm -hmm. uh, some of the stations may close. Right you know, uh, early or may not open until later. Yeah, and, and like you said earlier in Voyager, we can go 1,800 miles yeah. and not even, it's no big deal. Yeah, but we the, can in curiosity. And how much, so how much fuel does this hold? Yeah, so 66 gallons. Okay, uh, but that's not only for, to, to drive, that's also for the generator. Exactly. And we don't have solar, so. Exactly. So we're going to bring another can of diesel, and when we get to areas that we have a concern about mm -hmm. uh, service stations and fuel availability, mm -hmm. then we'll fill that gas can yeah. up, uh, the fuel can up with diesel, mm -hmm. and we will uh, use that in, in sort of a uh, give us a little bit of a comfort factor there. You know, factor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just had a hot flash. I did. <laughs> um, so we... we <laughs> We, we took a family vacation. This was years ago when we were living in Texas, and then we went out to Carlsbad Caverns oh, in New yeah. Mexico, and we were in the Ford. Uh, we had a explorer exp expedition, expedition, and the low fuel light came on, and then it says like zero miles to empty. And but I we knew went, I had like we you know. went like twenty miles on zero miles to empty, and I was freaking out. I knew I, we I had just, at least thirty in it. Oh man, I did. She I, was freaking I out. you know, if we don't have you know at least three quarters of a tank of fuel, of water, of food, then I'm I'm not a happy. Oh camper. man, yeah, she was freaking out, and there was a gas station right yeah, there. Yeah, we we, we kind of like but... rolled in in fumes. Almost. <laughs> um, she was not yeah, happy. So though. and then then, then I think actually, that was the only time, right? No, it wasn't. So oh, well, yeah. So been what, more? before full timing, but full timing, we've had two instances. Oh. Uh, one, we weren't sure if we were going to make it to Mississippi, so we had to. <laughs> Stop at a oh, like yeah. a Wawa gas station in Florida, and you oh, put yeah. like twenty gallons of fuel in That's Voyager right. just yeah. to get us to Mississippi. And we, it was still close. It was still close. And then another time, thank there goodness, was I was time? wanting. Yes, there was oh. another time where we were in oh, Louisiana, yeah. and I saw Chester's Chicken. I said, "Oh, let's go stop at the Chester's Chicken." And we yep. pulled in, and right when you pulled in the parking lot, oh, yeah. the low fuel, <laughs> low fuel light oh, came yeah. on. So you you put some fuel. Got in some there, fuel like, in that, got yeah. But we were still like forty miles from the cheap fuel, so I only put like five or ten gallons. Yeah, in. just enough to While make she sure. While was getting the Chester's. We're getting it. That was awful. <laughs> so anyhow, we don't want any of that to happen. We don't nope. want any drama unless it's an orca, flat, you know, like jumping over the, the kayak boat or, or the something. Kayak, yep. That's the only drama I want in this trip. Yep, so, exactly. So no fuel lights. Yep. Now we know it's probably going to get chilly in a few areas. <laughs> probably. <laughs> the highs might be in the 40s, now, like up by the Arctic now, Ocean. Now normally that's no big deal because, but if you're, if we're on hookup, but like right. you said, 100 out of the 150 days, we're going to be no dry camping, yeah. no hookups. Yeah. We do have the propane tank. Um, the furnace is in the back, in the bedroom, yep. but out here, it's it kind of makes it out here. It kind of does, do but it's job. not great. The mm -hmm. distribution of heat is not yeah, perfect not in this, uh, in in our magnitude. Mm -hmm. So we got a little a little mini buddy. Yeah, a little gas buddy. Yeah, and so we'll mm -hmm. use it up here, and then uh, that'll keep things warm and mm -hmm. such. And then between that and the furnace, and, yeah, we, and we'll I think be, good. We be good. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, now, something we learned last time, oh, yeah. yeah, the official shoe of Alaska is a muck boot. That's right. <laughs> Knee-high muck boots. Oh, yeah. And we didn't quite get that until we were in this very special place and oh, yeah. um, everyone, so actually it was, I don't know, it was a festival or something going on. It was a weekend festival. Little music festival. A music festival and the... Um, 
the music stopped right at 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. okay? Everybody walked out to the peninsula, watched the sun dip, come yep. back up. But when they walked out to the peninsula, it was kind of marshy and mucky. And and mucky. Mucky. Definitely That's probably mucky. why they call them muck boots, I, I guess. I think so. So anyhow, so we, we learned, and I had my little rain boots that went half-calf, and they were okay. They got were a little okay. splashy. Yeah, but... my hiking boots, uh, oh, I think you, I got a little bit yeah. that came inside. Yeah, so we, we got muck boots, yep. so that's exciting. Yep. So we should be good there. We're good there. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. excellent. And then the other item that you probably should mm -hmm. pack uh, we were prepared last time. We were. But there was, we had no issues, and that's mosquito yeah. protection. We heard so much about how horrible the mosquitoes are, yeah. you know, the state bird, and, and we, we were prepared for everything. Oh, yeah. But there was only one time we ran into mosquitoes all summer in yeah. 2017, and you and I, we found out there was this marshy area down at the Homer Spit, yep. and there were moose down there. So I wanted to go find the moose. Oh yeah. We went hunting for moose because I wanted to shoot them with my Nikon. Um, so we got down there, we got in the marsh, and we were going through this hiking trail. Yep. We weren't even 20 feet into the trail, and yep. David had like I don't know two or three hundred mosquitoes on his Just back, covering my back. Covered. I said, uh, David, we need to get out of here. We, we need to go. And I turned around and I had the mosquitoes on me and we just had them all over and we just ran yeah and we were shaking but, them off and everything as we were yeah, running but so. that was the only instance that we ran into yeah, mosquitoes everything weird. else was man i hope we don't jinx it now i, I hope but, not either but you've got a lot of stuff for <laughs> yeah we've got we've got a lantern mm -hmm. we've got one of those uh sonic uh mm -hmm. lantern things we've yep. got spray mm -hmm. uh, we got head nets yeah uh, that was from antelope island in yes. uh in um Salt Lake City. Yes, yeah, up in Utah a couple uh -huh. of years ago. Uh, they were thick there. Not they, mosquitoes, oh, but the no The biting. Ooh, the man. biting gnats. They hurt, too. Mm -hmm. But we're prepared now, so hopefully yes. we, we won't have any. Hopefully not. Yeah, yeah. So we learned a lot from 2017, and we're taking that information, mm -hmm. that wealth of knowledge, yeah. with us this year in mm -hmm. 2023. And it's going to be an exciting trip. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah. A lot of adventure. There's going to be some activities and routes and tours we're going to yeah. do that we haven't mentioned. And we're going to kind of keep it as a surprise. Yeah. Uh, with Starlink, we're going to try to keep to our Thursday schedule. Hopefully. Of uploading. Mm -hmm. if. If we have a lot of content, a lot of stuff going on, then it may be a couple times a week. I it think it might be a couple times a week. Because we've got a couple things that are just like it's some some real specialty tours. It's going to last two to three days, and yeah, it just would probably make sense if you just go ahead and upload that then. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. so depending on that. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, try to keep it weekly. It might be more than weekly, so might we'd not. love maybe ten days. Uh, who we, knows? We don't know. Who knows? We don't know. And it could be availability of, of signal with Starlink, mm -hmm. or you know, an internet cafe or something. Yeah. But uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, mm -hmm. and that way you'll get notified when we do post uh, a yeah. video, whenever we post a video. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna try to keep to that schedule. Yeah. And we're really excited. Uh, we're glad you guys are going to be coming along mm -hmm. on the trip with us. It's going to be a great trip. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be exciting. And we're uh, excited to have you come along with us. So let's enjoy the ride.